Look at them all standing around. Nobody's hurrying to take care of anybody. Look at the crossed arms and the body language, the hands on the hips. Attitude. Thank you. No, John, watch how she's serving it. She's not even grabbing it by the stem. She's grabbing it by the tops. There's no napkins. Putting her fingers on it. They should be serving that by the stem. A lot of sea breeze. They, they don't tell you guys that? After I ordered the sea breeze, they pretty much told me they didn't have the ingredients for it, so she just brought us both an apple martini. I find it pretty weird that I didn't ask for that drink and they just decided that they were gonna bring me what they wanted to bring me. Oh my God, dude. Woo! Taste this. Too much alcohol. He doesn't like it either. Look at his facial expression. That's just unacceptable. And nobody's going back to check and see if they enjoyed their drinks. I really think you should just go see how you get served. They got frustrated at the table, so now they're going to go to the bar. We were wondering if we could actually get a different one of these. It's a little bit strong. Maybe. Too strong? Yeah. OK. Crazy. And she got an ad. Oh, my god. She, she just Why? poured their drink Why? back into a mixing glass, and she's about to shake it again. Rather than make them a fresh one. Exactly. Boy, that's a first for me. I've never seen that before. That is just laziness. This place is a joke. No wonder why it's failing. So they're looking at the menu. It looks like they're about to order here. Yeah. nuggets. Y'all want to take this receipt to the window? To the window? What window? She just told them, here's your trick. Go pick up your own food when it's ready. Like, this is a drive through Let me go walk and get this food. I guess, look, whatever you want. There's two waitresses there, but they're not going to serve the food to them. What we're looking at is a completely unmanaged business. All right. I can't believe it. Styrofoam container inside a club where they had a stack of plates that they could have served them properly on. This don't make any sense. This right here doesn't happen. A nightclub, guys. This is a nightclub. Are you serious? Did you ask for it to go? Did you ask no, for it No, I here? told him that <laughs> we wanted it here. Oh, chef, I'm going to lose it. That's it. It's blowing my mind. I want to know who the hell made that decision. I'm guessing it's the owner. Where is Shelton? I haven't seen him in a very long time. Holy Man, this is a lot of fried food. Like, she just got one to share. I'm not trying to gain weight while eating my meal. I just want to have a little snack and then go back to party. Let's go in the kitchen. Hey, guys. As soon as I walked in the kitchen, I knew that there was a cleanliness problem going on here. You could smell the fish. You could smell the odors. But I noticed all this grease. Do you scrape under here? Do you clean? You got these things. It's not my fault. Just want to cook and that's it. Look at this. Whoa. This right here, it definitely is a fire hydrant. They leave this grease, you get a fire going under there, the fryer explodes, we got a mess. I want to see where you're walking, Doc. When the last time you guys cleaned the floor? Uh, I'm not lying to you, like two days ago, sir. You want to tell me this is two days ago? You got blood under here. This is not two days ago. If you care about quality, why would you do that? Sorry, sir. So he knows that it's wrong. But he does it anyway. That's not acceptable. All right, sir. So guess what you're doing tonight? You're cleaning this kitchen the way you should have cleaned it in the first place. Shelter, he's a good man. And I feel bad because I let him down. This is your business, ma'am. Yeah. Right? I'm here to help you. Yes, sir. You're not getting angry like you used to, are you? No. I want you to get pissy and say, no more. I won't tolerate it. I don't care if you're here till 7 in the morning. You guys fix it. And then that anger starts to light your fire. Yep. OK. I have to become more involved because I'm ultimately responsible for what my staff does. I should be able to control that better. I've had this place under surveillance for three days. As a professional, you are not going to believe what you're about to see. Watch this. So there's Scott and Donna, husband and wife. There's the daughter, Aaliyah, 21 years old, is trying to save this place. But here's the kicker, Russell. They're driving a motorcycle in in an enclosed space with food around with carbon monoxide. That engine is running. This guy's burning rubber inside the bar. Do not let people do stupid And they're excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is going to be a rough one, man. Well, Russell, I wanted to give us a good recon. I got us some tourist who's going to go in and sit at the bar. The future of this bar lies in Interstate 17. That's where the gold is, because there's no town here to support this bar. Hopefully, we'll get some good information from this. These owners always have a drink in their hands, don't they? But it's nobody else's. It's their own, unfortunately. Lovers, haters. <laughs> Hi there. How are you doing? What can I get you today? With a beer in her hand, too. That's our tradition out here. Once one person does it, they all got to do it. So 
Look at this pour. Every time she uses one of those cups, she's pouring like two to three ounces. That's almost a full bottle of alcohol. Scott, fireball. Yeah. Wow, how uncomfortable she looks. A bar like this that's on an interstate has to be able to target multiple age groups. Think of the hundreds of guests that have had that experience and not come back here. Want to okay. talk dirty to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can think of something else we can go do. In the back somewhere. <laughs> I'll do the barbecue, barbecue chicken here. Okay. Yeah. Turn me sideways. Bend me like a pretzel. <laughs> I feel like my vagina is a pretzel. <laughs> I can't stand her. She's rude. She's obnoxious. That bartender's name is Yum Yum. And she's drinking too. I And there's the owner, another shot. Another shot. Quite a bit of alcohol to push back in one swallow. It's not even 9 o'clock, Russell. Can we have shot, 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 shot? You can. Now I want to see in the kitchen. That's Tommy, the kitchen manager. And he's doing prep in the middle of dinner. And that's Matt, the line cook. How much longer are my barbecue chicken? It'll be ready in just a minute. Look at this. They dunked it in barbecue sauce. So it's not real barbecue, it's barbecue flavored food. This sign on this building says badass barbecue. There is no barbecue here. Just doused in barbecue sauce. Let's see what she thinks of it. All right. Covered. It was really just jar of sauce on your chicken. It was horrible. We ate dinner here last night, and I had to do the same thing. I had to sit it back and get something else. How's everything tasting? Very heavily covered well, in barbecue. You want me to get you something else? What the hell? This is Black Canyon City. There's some people that are mad about their food. I'm gonna buy them some shots. Let's do it. She's mad about her food. Are you buying her another shot? What does she need? You're mad about your food too? Yeah. She doesn't like it. Can we get her a shot too? Oh, uh, I don't need one. This is really not a good way to fix our food, but let's have fun with it. Jesus. I really just wanted to sit down, maybe have a glass of water. Not really a hard liquor drink. Just a little too much for me to handle, especially since I told them I was driving. Hey! How loud that owner is. It's loud and obnoxious. Shot, shot, shot! What happened? <laughs> Holy <laughs> What would have happened if that horse had broken their leg? That's disgusting. <laughs> and she's laughing. She thinks this is funny. Oh, my God. Look, at it got so scared and, like, pooped. Oh, he crapped on the floor. Oh. You almost fell on my table. I'm sitting there going, this ain't his first rodeo. We've all done this one before. Scott's rode a horse in the bar. Everybody's rode a horse in the bar. Rode a horse in the bar when you're pissed mother off. Here we go, guys. Kashmir nightclub. This is a great area. Look, we have all the bars up the street. Yeah. yeah. They all have crowds. Listen to this. Kashmir ranked 45th in check-ins in Raleigh nightclubs on Foursquare out of 55 clubs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So they're irrelevant. Yeah. The problem with an office building nightclub is they don't let you dress the outside of the building. So we got to make it very relevant on the inside. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing is this is a great market. It's a dink market. Mm -hmm. D-I-N-K. Dual income, no kids. So there's a huge population of couples living in the city and making very comfortable combined household incomes. Mm -hmm. Without the kids to keep them home at night, yep. what are they gonna do, Jess? Exactly, they're gonna go out. So for the recon tonight, guys, I got four dinks. Hopefully we'll get a good local perspective. What was the dirty booth? Oh, wow. Watch your black oh. dress. That's disgusting. <laughs> What's that? There's Brandon, the owner. I'm Brandon, by the way. I hate y'all. There's James, he's the manager. Give me a shot. Two. That's the manager? Yeah. All in. This guy can't sit in the bar, so he's got to sit on the bar, this guy. Tables are glasses, not asses. <laughs> Thank you for all the friends. Good times. Hi, how are you? Hey. Look. Can I get you 30? Let's get a one martini, please, with the lemon. Maybe take gray martini, please. Thank you. Troy, can you get them whatever they want? Yeah, of course. Put it on my tab. Of course. So there's Troy, the bartender. And they wonder why we haven't been doing well. There's Rocky. Rocky's a bartender. Thank you so much. Do you have a 
towel. Thank you. They asked for a towel to wipe their own table. That's, That's what they're disgusting. saying. Please tell me that this girl's not going to put a towel down instead of wiping it herself, at least. Oh, my God. That is grotesque. So am I getting paid to clean their furniture? There's Chelsea. She's a bartender. She has not moved. I haven't Man. seen her make a drink. No, a single one. She's like the worst hood ornament ever. <laughs> I don't think that tastes like Tanqueray. I don't think that's Tanqueray. It tastes cheap. The gin drinker likes to taste the spirit. So if a gin drinker is saying it doesn't taste like their go-to, you know something's up. Yep. There's Chelsea putting her makeup on in the kitchen. They don't use the kitchen for anything. I mean, look at that. It's a decent space. Yeah, absolutely. So they're missing a big opportunity Sorry. here. Paul Boris have a shot. Yeah. Look at this disrespectful. Holding. Look at him holding court, sitting on the bar. You guys have your down. Let's have your down. We're drinking. All in. That's why we're here, right? This guy says all in one more time. I'm going to put my fist all in his mouth. Ah. All in. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm all in. All in. Just went in the ladies' room. All in. All in. <laughs> Don't shoot my ass. I'm saying no if any girls are looking in. I don't give a all in. Who does he think he is? All in. See, this guy doesn't manage a damn thing. He's managing his own sex life. That's about the only thing he's managing. I'm getting all this shit, man. For who? Because I can't. Just put on my tent. This guy, James, is giving a house away. The owner doesn't notice it. Hey, notice me. Notice me. Dude, I'm going to play music. We're going to start some up in this place. All in. Why is he DJing? He's just playing for himself. This guy's being a mountain. I'm surprised anyone can hear anything over that T-shirt. This guy is taking the glory from his customers and giving it to himself. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Watch out, everybody. The shirt's about to come off. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Good beat, huh? Good mix. DJ's obviously a joke. Cheers to a delightful evening. It's like beyond embarrassing. I just like don't understand how you'd have someone managing your place like that. I better go in here and go to work. Good luck. Fred. Hey, nice to meet you. Got a few minutes? Absolutely. Let's get uh, James, your manager, and let's go talk at the end of the bar here. James. Hey, well said. You're the manager here? Yes, sir. I sent four people in here to spy tonight. They were sitting over there till you jumped up on top of the DJ booth, standing above them, so they left to get away from you. This is your manager. He sits up on the bar. I've never seen that in 30 years. My friend. You're taking a hit for his party. He's the big shot on your money. You ever feel like a chump? Because right now you look like one. I can change. You can change? Yep, 100%. I'll go all in. All in. I've heard you use that term all night. You're full of shit, man. I got you busted right from the beginning. Rocky, how much were the comps on him tonight? 150. And what were the total sales? 664. That's including the comps. So we did 500 in sales, 150 in comps for him. James is taking advantage of Brandon, and Brandon's letting him do it. He sits on a bar stool like a wimp. That's why he's losing his money. You want to party and be a big shot? Do it on your own money, not his. I will you. prove myself to you. I, I'd That's like to my goal. I was like prove to myself see it. to you. Get your alcohol breath out of my face and prove it to me tomorrow, OK? Because I don't really want to smell you right now. Blaming me for the whole bar is And I'll prove myself to Taffer. I'm better than he thinks I am. And I'm going to go all in. I'll show everybody in this bar, include Taffer. Get the camera in my face. I'm taking responsibility for everything. And you have that going on. You have the screaming, the crying. It happens every weekend. Get the cameras out of here, bro. Get the cameras out of here. I'm not
phrase, golf and grill. Doesn't say bar. Looks like a golf store, doesn't it? Absolutely. John is joined in the SUV by Steve Blovat, a professional health inspector. So I've had this place under surveillance for three days. The reason why I wanted you to come here is because I think this might be the worst kitchen I've ever seen. Open ceiling. Look at the bugs. Disgusting. Now this is the grease off the hill. What owner makes their employees work in these conditions? They don't care. I'm going to send in Chef Brian Duffy and Phil Wills. And I'm going to have them order the entire menu. Can I give you all the drink? Margarita, Bloody Mary, whiskey sour, uh, Bay Breeze, mojito, Irish coffee. Irish coffee, you said? Yeah. I ordered a series of drinks. Every bartender should know how to make. We're going to do uh, three fairway burgers, and then one of everything else. Okay. Beautiful. It's yeah. gonna be a minute. <laughs> oh man. This is ridiculous. Look at this guy's freaking out here. This place sucks. Bloody Mary. Margarita. Really, really good. Awesome. Look at Michelle standing behind the bar. She's handling through all of that. Could you pour me a dark as beer? Absolutely. There are bugs in the bar, too. Oh, boy. Clearly has raw product, raw pork, mind you. What raw food is he touching now? <laughs> There's no sanitation. There's no hand washing. There's no gloves being used. There's no separation from raw to cooked product. I don't know how he lasted eight months. Look at that bowl. Oh, look at that. That bowl has not been cleaned since this place opened. The tea drop. Oh. And they're yep. putting that over food. This is inexcusable, absolutely. It's just pouring the profit away. Right off right, the And the keg is kicked. Cake. Are you kidding? You don't have another cake. Mm -mm. Look at everything oh, goes in a frosted no way. And then look at the over holy okay. The first thing that hit my tongue was a very, very hard metallic taste. Oh, oh dude, that's bad. Right when it hit the bottom of my stomach, I knew something was wrong. My stomach started curdling. Beer starts to go bad after around three months. So I'm thinking the cake had to have been sitting there for at least a year. Any chance you can check on some food for me to see how, how we're doing? I am. We're 29 minutes in. Okay. Don't growl at me. I'm just wondering how long he's asking. One person. So here comes the food for Chef Duffy. We got some chips and queso and some chips and salsa. Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. Very nice. Hey, Michelle, do you have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Um, Right back there to the left. Dude, I think this might come up right now. Fairways burgers? Three fairways, medium. Yes. Yes, sir. Just so you know, medium doesn't bleed, so I got bloody medium. You guys make your own salsa in-house? We do. You do. Oh, my god, he threw up. <laughs> Caitlin, did you see where my buddy went, by chance? Here's I'll go check. check. For me. Thank you very much. I think you got my boy sick. <laughs> One sip of beer made this guy throw up. Dude's throwing up. The what? Dude's throwing up in the bathroom. Off of what? I don't know. We took out the chips and salsa and stuff, and now he's throwing up. Oh, that's <laughs> What's wrong with salsa? Ain't nothing wrong with salsa. Kevin's an excellent cook. His focus on making great food, I think he can be an excellent asset. You've done this for 14 years? I've never seen anything like this before. This is ridiculous. This guy should be shut the hell down. Let's, Let's go. go in here. Richard. How's it going, John? Not well, man. You killed my kitchen. You almost killed my freaking mixologist. Phil is in the bathroom throwing up right now. Off beer? Yes! Off beer, for Christ's sakes! This is Steve. He's a health inspector with me. In 14 years, have you ever seen somebody throw up so quickly from consuming something? Absolutely not. What just happened, Phil? Just puking my brains out, because I drank that right there. Take a sip of it, man. Go ahead, you let your customers drink it, drink it. Taste it. Supposed to be 86. Supposed to be 86. Is it connected? 
Does she know it's 86? Did you? No, sir. You won't drink it, but he will. These are the uh, mushrooms. And this is actually dirt on the bottom of the mushrooms that was never wiped off. The mushrooms grow. You're serving your neighbors this food. What have you done about it? I try to help clean. So you try to help clean, do you? Yes. If I walk through this kitchen, it's going to be clean. Should be clean. Chef, I want to go back and see this kitchen. I'm sorry, you got sick. Kevin, come out here. This is your kitchen? Yep. So you're responsible to clean it every day? Sure. I mean, you just served me a mushroom on it. Where'd you learn how to cook? Culinary Academy. So you graduated from culinary school? Yes. Can you do me a favor? Where's the salsa that you served me on the outside? I want you to taste that salsa for me. What do you think about that? It tastes like and It's bubbling. Because the bacteria has grown so far that it's bubbling, dude. What's that? What do we do this with this? Richard, that touches food. Disgusting. All of this winds up in the food. That's our return air right there. According to you, when was this last inspected? 2010. 2010. So this thing hasn't been cleaned in three years. This is what's dripping on your food and going to burn your restaurant down. This is our uh, grease filtration system. So why is it that you just don't clean? We do. When? Uh, it's a nightly thing. I'm You're full of shit. I clean. Uh, Daily, it is definitely clean enough to serve food. When was the last time you physically went in and scrubbed out a fryer? Last night. And this is all the goodness that I'm pulling out of the bottom of here. So these are our clean fryers that were cleaned out last night, just so everybody knows. I didn't realize how bad it was. Kevin knows his way around the kitchen, so uh, never even thought twice about it. Chef? Yes? I just have to note this. What is sitting here at room temperature? Chicken. You can That's smell raw chicken. I'll bet it's still, it's not in the danger zone yet. What temperature is that? 57.2. 57 degrees. Chicken should never be over 40 degrees. What temperature is this, Steve? 68.7 degrees. Throw it out. Good job, chef. Look at it. Is there any mold on the inside of this walk-in? I don't think so, no. You don't think so? Look at the mold all over the floor. There's three significant areas of mold. Not a Oh! This isn't healthy for you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Me. No way. This is a four. Oh, here. dude, you got mushrooms growing in your walk-in. Spores. They have their own unique smell. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in. Look at this. Oh, my god. Get the out of here. Get the out of here. This is unbelievable. Dude. Jack, Steve, Wesley. I got to have this tested. If this is black mold, we are all in trouble. I'm out of here. This place is dangerous, for Christ's sakes. Nobody eats this frickin' food. I'm in the mood for a dirty martini. This place is a joke. Just keep on my point. <laughs> you don't need to overpour to make someone buzz and happy. Make them a good drink. And a pint glass, Tony, you see that? It's huge. So either there's an obscene amount of liquor in that, or it's olive juice. One of the two. Oh, she's putting her hands. Oh, oh she's been Same smoking. hand she was smoking with. Oh, handling money. Can you do it without the ice? Just switch it to another glass. You don't want ice? No. Whenever I order a martini, I expect it to be up unless I request it to be on the rocks. So she just dumped that all into a glass. Yeah, I'll dig it out. That's cool. <laughs> now the customer has to reach in and get that olive out. That's just lazy. Oh. I think Ryan got it. Martini is crap. Oh, she doesn't like it. I would have walked out by now. Shauna, want an order of mozzarella sticks, a couple of um, Swiss and bacon burgers, medium rare. Whatever. That's cooking 101. Right. All right, so we got a few hamburgers going down. Do you see the fryer? I do. It's bubbling. There is a layer of gunk on the bottom of that fryer that is not allowing it to fry properly. There's that. OK, well, she's eating. 
Look at that look on her face. Yeah, she's chewing that over. Oh, you know how we have that mozzarella that's so hard? She can barely swallow this. <laughs> Why is she still chewing? She's been chewing 20 seconds. 30 seconds, the same bite. Hold on. This is a world-class chew. She's in 40 <laughs> seconds. Are we gonna make a minute? The one minute chew! Here we go! Yes! The one minute chew! I'm not sure I can eat that. Maybe the burgers will be better. Hopefully. Uh. How are you doing, Shelly? You ready for a beer? Thank you. I'm almost certain we ordered bacon cheeseburgers, right? Oh, yeah, we did. No bacon. I don't eat that. A great chunk of meat. Because it wasn't cooking properly. It's not high enough. I'm not impressed. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that. Anything else you guys That's not normal. She's just angry and pissed. Look at her face. Shauna. Absolutely. Shauna. She's done for the night. Can we get two kamikaze shots? She's really ignoring the customer right now. I'll make it. You stay over here. Liz jumped in. She's now making the kamikaze. Thanks, Liz. Anytime. She just flicked someone off? Yes, she did. Look at them. They're in shock. And they're members. They paid for the right to be in this room. Relax. Okay, send their Order crazy Oh, yeah. Damn it, Shauna, you need to calm down. Take a deep breath, slap a big smile on your face, and let it go, OK? Drama queen. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all about me. It's not about the customers. It's about Exactly. Her. You smile? <laughs> you smile? You know, we got a superstar, huh? That's exactly what I was thinking. Keep on my horn. Shauna just did a great job. While Liz works hard to be a good business partner, foolish owner Bill is happy because everybody's drunk. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Pussy. What's your number one responsibility as a bartender? To keep people safe. This guy is promoting an unsafe environment. One thing that infuriates me more than anything is an irresponsible drunk owner who encourages his employees to be drunk, drive home drunk, encourages his customers to be over intoxicated. He tells his employees, over poor bitch. I've seen enough. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Is that? Ooh. What? What the heck is that? Oh! She's like, oh, oh. All right, look! Raccoon! I'm done. Unbelievable! Raccoon! Oh, you can't come in. You are obviously not. No, you can't come in. I can't come in because I'm not a member? Yeah. What's your name? Shana. I'm John. Nice to meet you. Oh my God. You're, you're not going to shake like, my hand? No, you're like the big jolly Can you find guy. my hand? <laughs> You've had a little to drink tonight, huh? A little bit. How much? A lot. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.